and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel guys. Throughout the week so far, we have been riding a wave of positivity and coming into this weekend, it is absolutely massive for us, both in terms of the title race and also, of course, with the presidential election on Sunday. These are massive days to come and this right here, it's a game we have to win. It's Osasuna against Barca. Live in La Liga. Because kickoff will be coming to us at 9pm local time on Saturday evening live there from El Sadar Stadium in Pamploma. And here guys are the times right around the world so you can get involved and enjoy this feeling that we currently have. And like I say, it is imperative that we do our job on the Saturday because on the Sunday, a crucial day in the title race with Atletico Madrid, the league leaders, hosting their arch rivals, Real Madrid. That's coming from the Wanda Metropolitano on Sunday afternoon. And that's going to be a fascinating contest. Because when you look here at the La Liga table, I think it is now safe to say it is a three-horse race between Atletico, Barca and Real Madrid. Atletico still do have a healthy gap between ourselves and Real Madrid five points there separating us and they also do have a game in hand and what I thought we'd do here is just give you some of the permutations depending on that result in the Madrid derby because if we win against Osasuna and we have to win if we win and then Real Madrid beat Atletico the gap is down to two. Atletico will still have their game in hand, but we will just be two points behind them in the title race. If it's a draw, Atletico there will be three points ahead of us with a game in hand. But if Real Madrid lose and Atletico win the derby, they remain five points clear. You'd have to say what we need from the Madrid derby is not necessarily Real Madrid to win. We don't want that. But we want Atletico to lose and drop some points. But look guys, with the focus back on this game right here, I want to make it absolutely clear, we've got to take it seriously. We are going to have to turn up in this game because we are heading here to face a team and play in a stadium that's been tricky. Over the years, we have struggled at Osasuna, dropping points in recent seasons, and it is not going to be simple whatsoever because although Osasuna may seem as though it's a relatively straightforward game, they're having a good season and they are coming into this game on really, really good form for them. They're currently well away, well clear of the relegation zone, sitting in 11th place in the league. And they've actually won three of their last four games in La Liga. And let's not forget either, they have spent the entire week resting, putting their feet up, organising themselves for this game, while we've been in midweek action going all the way to extra time, and so it's not going to be easy. And speaking indeed of our Capital Ray heroics on Wednesday against Sevilla, just to confirm, guys, that it is now official. We will face in the final of the Capital Ray Athletic Club. We are going to be playing Athletic for about the 50th time this season. It is a rematch there of the Spanish Super Cup, and that's going to be coming to us next month in April. But of course, the big question coming into this game is now off the back of that Sevilla game which, like I say, went deep into extra time there, 120 gruelling minutes that it was in midweek. Now, just three days later, we're facing Osasuna, we're travelling there to an away game, and then, of course, after that, midweek next week, it is four days later, though, on the Wednesday, we'll be travelling to face Paris Saint-Germain, and that, of course, means that in this game, we have to think about a bit of rotation, we have to think here about keeping this squad as fresh as we possibly can. Now, I asked you guys what you'd like to see. Would you like to see major rotation? rotation, minor rotation, maybe no rotation. And I think quite obviously, we all want here a few changes here and there, just to make sure that we are going to be ready physically to take on this game. Because after such a good run of form and such a brilliant game in midweek, the last thing we'd want here is to fall flat and put out a poor display. And this right here is where Koeman is going to earn his money. When you look at the squad, when you look at the players who are involved, we right here have to get the balance right. You don't want to be overdoing it on the rotation. Because this is a game, like I say, 
We have to win if we want to challenge for the league. Now, in terms of my team selection, guys, obviously there is going to be no Gerard Piquet at the centre of defence. He is out right now with an injury and could be on the sidelines for a few weeks with that knee problem. So he is not going to be involved there at the centre of defence. I would also personally not start Pedri. I think he came back, did incredibly well against Sevilla, but we shouldn't overwork him. He is a young player after all. You can't be pushing him through too many minutes. And I would personally give him some much needed rest in this game. And the other player that I wouldn't risk personally, even despite his brilliant form recently, is Usman Dembele. Now, he will be a big miss not in the team. There's no denying that whatsoever. But he did feel a little bit of pain towards the end of the game against Sevilla. That's why he was subbed off. It was only a precaution and there is no injury there. But still, when it comes to Dembele, for me, don't take any risks whatsoever. And I would sit him out for this game. And of course the question is then, do we stick with the three at the back system that has worked so successfully for us recently, or do we revert back to four at the back? And for me, I don't really feel as though, even against Osasuna, I would be confident there in a back two of Clement Longley and Samuel Mtiti. As my two centre-backs, that's not really the way that I'd want to be going. Obviously there's no Ronald Araujo. You could line up there with Longley and Mingueza. They may get through that game, but I would just like to see that added security that extra player in there and actually I wouldn't use on Titi I would actually drop in there and I think Kuman could do this Frank de Jong because what that allows us to do there is have that security you've got there an extra player dropping in a bit deeper much deeper than he would usually be playing but of course in transition he can also there step into midfield he can also be part there of breaking the lines of moving the ball forward and making sure that we are structured in that area too and then it's certainly about midfield for me alongside Sergio Busquets gets there if you don't want to give him a bit of rest. It's either, again, between Ilash Mariba and Ricky Pooch. I don't think Pjanic will come into Kuman's thinking, and I think it's going to be interesting to see who starts. I think Mariba is a bit more solid in terms of maybe your defensive solidity. I think Kuman maybe seems to trust him a little bit more in that area, but if you want somebody to help you going forward, if you want somebody there to give you a bit of energy in midfield, somebody who can burst forward with the ball, that's Ricky Pooch. He can carry it, and he can do the things that maybe you'll miss out with De Jong a bit deeper. And then in terms of the front three, it's a tough one. Without Dembele, I think I would bring in there Martin Braithwaite to do the same sort of role, to sit on the shoulder, to run in behind, to try and stretch Osasuna as much as possible. And then I think, to be fair, you've got to put Griezmann out there again. He played very, very well when he came on. You don't want to kill his confidence. You've got to put him in the team at some point. This is a game for him. I'd like to see Trincao as well coming off the bench nice and early if possible. But that is the team there that I would look to go with. It's a difficult decision. I think Kuman has got some really tough calls to make because, of course, we do have PSG coming. It is a quick turnaround from midweek. But like I keep saying, this for us, it's a massive game because we need to win in order to challenge for the league. And in terms of your predictions, guys, this is where it does get interesting indeed, because many of you, of course, very, very confident right now, and the overwhelming majority there going for a win by three plus goals, a big win potentially incoming here for Barcelona. And I was always thinking about my prediction, because in the big games recently, we have been opting for draws, and that has been working very, very well for us. But after a few suggestions that came my way, I'm not going to predict the draw for this game. I'm going to save that for the big game that we have in midweek on Wednesday. In this one, I'm going to say, yeah, we are going to win. I'm going to go Barca 3, Osasuna 0. Now, if we don't win, this is an absolute disaster. But let's just hope here that we can get the win, move on to the game in midweek. Then we'll see what happens. It's all to play for. A massive weekend awaits us. And of course, guys, please stay up to date right here with everything going on and over on More Talk FCB. There is lots of videos coming your way in what's a really good time for us Barca fans. I will see you soon. Let's hope for another win. But until next time, as always, Vizca El Barca.